Hi, I'm Heath Hawkins. I'm going to talk to you today about kidney stones. Kidney stones are one of the most common problems we see in urology. They affect about one in eight people in Tennessee at some point in their life. Um, when you think about that, that's a pretty tremendous number of people that are involved with kidney stones. After your first kidney stone, you have about a 50-50 chance of having another kidney stone in the first 10 years. After that, if you have another kidney stone, you have about an 80% chance of having another stone following that. So the two keys with kidney stones are preventing kidney stones and treating kidney stones. In the grand scheme of things, treatment is, treatment is much more difficult than prevention. So there are some things that people can do in general to try to prevent kidney stones. One thing is drinking lots of fluid. The number one reason why people get kidney stones is they simply do not drink enough fluid. When summer hits and the seasons get warm, people need to be drinking more fluid and keeping up with the amount of fluid that they drink. Look at your urine. I know that sounds weird, but just look in the toilet. If it looks light yellow, it's okay. If it's dark yellow, you're probably not getting enough fluid. Other dietary and lifestyle things also affect kidney stones. The amount of protein that we get in our diet as Americans is much more than what we actually need, and protein is a major part of kidney stones. Other things that we can do to prevent kidney stones would include increasing the amount of citrus in our diet and cutting back on foods that contain oxalate. Now that's a little harder to do and something you may want to talk to your doctor about. As far as treatment of kidney stones go, there's multiple treatment choices. As time has gone on, stones have become more and more often treated with minimally invasive procedures. Previously, people would get large incisions for kidney stones, but it's very rare to do something like that anymore. For the most part, most kidney stones are treated without any incisions at all. Many kidney stones can be treated with something called lithotripsy, which is an ultrasound wave used to break the stones. Other kidney stones can be treated with something called ureteroscopy, which is a little miniature scope that, is, that we use to go into the bladder and up into the ureter, which is the tube that drains the kidney, and remove the stones like that. That can be done by either grabbing the stone and removing it, or using a laser to actually break the stone and remove the stone. For large stones, there are other treatment options, but very rarely do they require any sort of major incisions. The ultimate best thing that you can do for kidney stones is preventing them. There is testing that can be done if you are someone that has recurrent kidney stones to help prevent and find the exact problems that you have. So talk to your doctor and look into treatment.